All right, so I wanted to do a little update on the Epson V39. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit. I did use it previously on uh, the Dell that we replaced recently uh, with a Mac Mini and an iPad Pro. It's really worked out amazing. I've uh, scanned all these uh, over the past few days. And, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's super easy. I'll do one for you right now. So I just scanned one, I put that there, these are uh, for TT's new book, and um, so I put it there. After there's a scan, <coughs> uh, it loads an editing screen if you want to edit it, which I do because I want to rotate it and just double check that everything's in there. So then I hit save. And then it's in there. I have my new one in there. I just hit scan. And it'll scan it. Um, so the other thing is you can set up uh, the name of the file that you want and, and how you want it to number it. So that way you're just clicking. You don't need the keyboard. You don't need to input anything. And when you're first, like the settings I did, I did... Um, uh, image type color, resolution 600 dpi, and uh, so yeah, here again, I'm, I'm hitting edit, I'm taking a look. You can hover over the picture, and yeah, it'll pop up bigger eventually. All right, yeah, you can see that. Um, and then it looks good, I hit save, it goes right into the folder I want. And then I can do my next one. So um, what's going to happen is I'm in document mode, uh, document sources, scanner glass, maximum size. So because I have these large um, pieces of paper for illustrations, uh, that fits the entire glass there. So I have to indicate that on there for maximum size, otherwise it'll cut parts of it off. And um, I, I have add or edit pages after scanning, so it's gonna like knock off anything that's not uh, white. I have correct document skew off because I noticed sometimes it was skewing it weird maybe based on the illustration and it wasn't accurate in terms of what we wanted, so I just turned that off. Um, <clears throat> I don't have rotate on, only because some, depending on the illustration, I might have to turn it a certain way. Um, so that kind of varies per page. I could turn it on and it probably would save me a little time, uh, but that's okay. If you don't need to do any rotation, you can set it for what you want. Uh, what I recommend is going into advanced settings, and setting all this up and do some experimentation. Like if you're not getting the results you want, you may want to reduce the brightness, contrast, and the gamma, make adjustments on those things uh, until you kind of see what, um, you know, what you like the best. And once you get that right, then start mass scanning. So those are really nice features with the Epson scan software uh, that I noticed. So, um, yeah, it's actually been, it's actually been really good, and uh, <clears throat> I definitely recommend the scanner. Uh, it's, it's been, it's easy, it's worked, it hasn't um, <clears throat> had any issues uh, at all, and um, you know, it's a very affordable scanner, it doesn't take up much room. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's the update.